I usually work with cast glass, which is a, a cast process similar to bronze casting. Make a mould and then uh, fill that with glass ingots, spend an, uh, a reasonably long time cooling in the kiln and then carving it and shaping it uh, through a cold working process, similar to stone carving to make my regular work. Glass is uh, a, a, a material that I'm very comfortable with and it has a certain transparency and softness to it. These are qualities that I really in, enjoy working with. Concrete is, you know, really it's alter ego. It's, it's dense, it's completely opaque, and it behaves in a very different way. Actual Water came to me and uh, were looking for a commission for the dam. They were looking for something that captured the metaphor of the dam, but also something that, that honoured the, um, the people who had worked there. So this is the reinforcing structure that will sit with inside the sculpture and it's made of uh, Rio bar. It's almost like industrial jewellery. If the mould work is done, and what we're trying to do here today is test it, put it through the process and just make sure we're going to get the surface finish off the, the sculpture, uh, off the mould that we want for the sculpture. What I'm doing at the moment is uh, just putting a buff on the surface. We're going through this quite elaborate process of bringing in a pump, bringing in a bunch of concrete and a whole big crew uh, and about a week's worth of assembling just to run this test. This is much larger than anything I've ever worked on and it's in a different material than I've worked on. It's about 14 tonnes worth of uh, metal and, and concrete. And concrete, as I've been learning, is quite a complicated material. In fact, um, I'm working with uh, an engineer uh, who said to me, it's not really a material, it's a process. Well, the test is going pretty well and the guys have uh, got the chance to work together. Because ultimately, when we do the final pour, we have one shot to do it. We've got uh, about uh, 10 tonnes of concrete and we've got one two hour period to place it and get it right. So everyone's got to know what they're doing. The first thing that I responded to was the huge physicality and brutalism of the dam. It's a series of these massive steps that, that seems to go on forever and it's such a powerful um, visual statement as a contrast against the natural landscape. In the early conversations we talked about using concrete as the construction material for the work. And of course, I wanted to um, react against the, the, the visual quality of the dam and I wanted to produce something that was quite a bit more animated. But of course, in this uh, very um, static and heavy material of, of cast concrete. I really think the purpose of art is to inspire and help, uh, help creative thought. I mean, we, we live in a world with creativity is what defines uh, what is next and what is new. And so visual art has a role to play there in inspiring people and, and directing people to, to different ways of thinking about the world and different structures, thinking outside of the box. I'd really like people to see the contrast between the artwork and the dam. That's the first thing. But then also to experience the form in its own right this animated compound curve out of this um, very um, dense material. I like the contrast of that. That's the first thing I'd like people to, to see as a metaphor for the dam, as a way of signifying uh, the idea of the dam. That would be lovely if people can make that connection. But also, I think there's a lot to be said for people having their own experience and interpreting the work and, and having time with the work. <laughs>